I'm Nancy Alexander from Ladybug Wreaths and Ladybug Certified. I am ready to make a summer wreath. I'm itching to make a summer wreath. The next thing we always add is ficus leaves. I've got some laying right here and that helps us get the shape of our wreath. We use ficus leaves year round even in Christmas wreaths. I love using them and you'll see when I get started what a difference it makes. The next thing that I want to add is something that's really fun. It's a cute little bird birdhouse. It's got net, uh, eggs in it and they make these out of really soft material so we made two holes in each side and threaded a pipe cleaner through each side. That will make it easy to tie in and I think I know where I want to put it but first I want to use one of my mushrooms as a base for it. You know I made this circle a while ago and I said I had something I wanted to go in that circle. Look at there. That mushroom kind of makes a shelf for it to sit on. We need to think about our bow. Everybody asks me, do you, do you put your bow first? Do you put it last? Do you put it in the middle? Well, I do it differently every time. I knew I wanted my birdhouse in here. And I knew I wanted to get the, the large red hydrangea in there. So I wanted to take care of that part first. And by doing that, I can tell that I don't have a lot of room for a bow for a ribbon, but I'm still going to put one. I'm just going to make it smaller. And you'll still have the color, and it'll still look really pretty. I am going to leave some longer streamers because I always love the long streamers. You see how this curls when I run my finger along the side of it since it's wired? I'm going to curl it into the burlap ribbon that was already there. Okay, I'm going to turn this around so you can see it a little bit better. We need some more of these cherry blossoms. I'm going to go around and add some more of those. We're almost through with this wreath, y'all. This is my favorite ivy. It is sage ivy and it looks real. It's got the little tiny growth toward the end, the lighter green growth. I love using it. We've got a really pretty cross plum bush. Little tiny dainty white flowers. They're just really easy to use and to fill in. But I love the way they look. Kind of like these little dainty strawberries that we used a while ago. Sometimes you just need a little bit of white or a little bit of color. This, this small. That's when you go with a tiny flower or a berry. And look, that white is picked up in this ribbon. And in this plaid ribbon, it looks pretty with the cherry blossom. You'll always think you're through. No, you will. You will be through, but you'll always think you're not through. You'll always see one more spot. Just one more place. Oh, there's just one more here too. But there has to come a time when you say, okay, that's it. It's beautiful. I'm stopping. I'm through. Okay, y'all. That is a beautiful summer wreath that you can use when you have friends over and parties and 4th of July. You can even get a couple of stars on a stick your craft store, Red Stars, and put in there for the 4th of July. It'd be beautiful. I have really, really enjoyed getting to teach you <laughs> how to make a wreath today. I love doing this. I love 
the fact that you let me visit you in your home as I talk to you and show you how to make a wreath. Make a gorgeous, gorgeous wreath and you will be so proud of yourself. I am already proud of you. I will talk to you later. Thanks for letting me come and visit with you today. Bye.